I know that um, a few years ago you sort of suffered quite a loss with your art. There was quite a major fire and there was a lot of um, coming together of artists to support you. And um, I really want to get a feel for what's happened since then with you and your work. And you seem to be driven. There's a lot going on. You're moving in different directions. You're, you know, you've got a very interesting and inspiring site, and everybody knows you. So, what sort of drives you? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um, the camaraderie of the artists, mm -hmm. uh, as you may mention, to like '95 helped me kind of reposition myself mm -hmm. in the business. Up to 1995, I really gained a lot of momentum. I started into the business probably in 1984 mm -hmm. uh, when I launched my distribution company. Okay. And, um, I was a youngster amongst the, all of my peers at that point. Uh, most of my peers were probably 20 years older than me. So I learned a lot of things and that really began to gain a lot of momentum and all the money that I had earned few college years up went into building this business. So when I had the fire, it really was at that point where I was just beginning to see the fruits the of my labor. Of labor yeah. Uh, yeah. But I learned a lot of lessons, man. Pro improper insurance, a whole okay. bunch of things I went through. Luckily, it happened when I was young. But the, uh, the artists were, were very, very, uh, I, I, I could never say that there's not camaraderie amongst mm -hmm. the artists. I would say at least 15 of the artists that's in here today were very instrumental in making sure I was taken care of for that first year trying to get back on my feet. Mm -hmm. Charles Smith being one of the one primary of ones. Paul Goodnight was one. Michael Brown was one. Mm -hmm. Frank Frazier was one. I go down the list of folks who were very yeah. supportive. So for me, it's just a matter of, it was reaffirming. Um, as far as being driven, I, 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 I found out what my purpose was a long time ago and I try to keep it very simple. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to do this. We're in the midst of a major art revolution right now and mm -hmm. I'm trying to do my part okay. to keep things alive and um, make work accessible, which is a problem we've had throughout our history here. Mm -hmm. So um, I try to keep it simple. As far as my work is concerned, uh, I've always had a short attention span, so my work does jump around a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm inspired by quite a few things, but uh, I don't take credit for it. I just do the work, mm -hmm. and uh, people respond to it. So uh, I'm fortunate to be celebrating my 29th year doing this full time, and this is what I do. Okay. And as far as um, the young up-and-coming artists, I mean, what advice would you give to them? Um, as far as, you know, to finding realize the art and business. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the pitfalls we've had in this business is because we don't understand our own creativity and other people do. Mm -hmm. So my that, that doesn't just end with visual arts though, does it? That's music as well as... The, yes, yeah. but particularly with visual because, mm -hmm. you know, we're... We have obvious talent, so a lot of times the support system that we have would be a lot less for some of the mediums. So, uh, but artists uh, were never taught that this is a business. Artists weren't taught that this is a, a, a spiritual expression of ourselves, it's part of our personality. It's not something that we do or don't do. It's not an extension of us. So a lot of us are totally being re-educated, not only about the business of art, but what the creative side of us is all about. And that's something that's uh, going to probably keep things, keep the momentum going. Well, I mean, regretfully, we don't have any event as big as this in, in England. There's nothing um, regretful to be regretful about. But it's, you know, uh, we're underrepresented you know, but we're, in every aspect of everything well, in the true. United States. But I can't help feeling it's a regret. <laughs> but that just means there's room for it. It means something has to happen, something's no, going to be started. Yeah. For it. Yeah. And I've seen a couple of people uh, yeah. attempt to put shows like that together. Mm. It's just time to unify and do it. I mean, mm. we didn't have shows here either. Mm. But now we have more venues that we can participate in. So. And you travel all over the place. Yes, I do. You do, yeah. 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 So, so, and you're world. from a family of artists as well, right? Uh, so. yeah, my son, is, uh, he's just picked up the torch a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, but he has two other interests, which is theater and music. Okay. And my dad, I'm a second generation artist. My dad That's does right. awesome. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're going to continue doing what we do. And your work now is, is all over the world? or Yeah. yeah you are. Uh, like I said, 29 years is a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we published, started publishing works in 1985. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I've always published my own work, so it's, it's been... So has, have, do you feel the industry has grown in the 29 years, or, I mean... Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's a, of course we can see a lot of things that is more competitive, but mm. we have more people aware now than ever before. Never before. I mean, just think 20, 40 years ago, mm. you know, nobody was buying them. So how many years have you been doing this show? Oh, this is your eighth year. It's my eighth year doing this mm. particular show. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, like First said, time here, yeah. in this building, okay. So, uh, but I've always I've been developing the Atlanta market really since the mid '80s. Mm -hmm. so okay, we're a pretty good following here. So Atlanta is, is always been good to you. Atlanta's been good to me. Mm -hmm. Chicago, uh, mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Have you exhibited abroad? Have you exhibited yes, abroad? Yes, Brazil, mm -hmm. London. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, Any plans to revisit London? Or? Uh, you know, I, 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 I would love to do more abroad, but it's one of those kind of things where if you haven't really cultivated at home, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard you're to do. You're still finding new so ground here. We have so many obstacles now that uh, we didn't have before with accessibility, uh, piracy, mm -hmm. that um, I need to really focus on what's happening here. We still have totally undeveloped, uncharted territory mm -hmm. here in the U.S. to do this. So. And it's just as many entry-level people coming into this business as it was back in the 80s. Mm. So There's a lot of control problems that you you lose by, by having your work abroad, with the piracy or... Yeah, that's an issue. Yeah. Copyright issues are always issues, but the mm. bottom line is that I have a lot of work in London now, I didn't produce any of it. Mm. You know, so Fair enough. That's so, yeah. part of the business. You know, yeah. I'm still being represented. People mm. still know it's my work. Yeah. I, you just have to put it in its proper perspective. Yeah. Every aspect of business has that 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 side, mm. and it's an art too. This is a very competitive dog eat dog stab in the back kind of a business, and so especially when they can take you for free, right? Well, I mean, it's, mm. it's, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, to stop me from doing what I need to do. Okay, Larry, thanks for that. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just have a scout no around, yeah? No, for free. Thanks for that. Okay, I'll give you my card. Yes, I just, um, I'll make sure I add you on my list and everything. Too. I'm on, yeah, please do. Yeah.